Dear viewers, welcome to Nursat Satellite Channel and Tele Lumiere TV. On the occasion of the Feast of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross, the Regional Office of Nursat in the Holy Land, Jordan and Palestine, represented by its director Dr. Basim Sam'an and the team, would like to extend heartfelt congratulations to all Christians in Jordan and around the world. We pray that the Almighty grants everyone goodness, happiness and peace on this occasion and may He preserve Jordan as a kingdom, homeland and people. Wishing you all the best and love every year. Now let's begin with the headlines. Pope Francis praises King Abdullah's second efforts to promote peace in the region. His Majesty the King directs that all assistance needed by the Lebanese medical sector be provided. Under the patronage of Cardinal Pizzabella, the American University in Madaba celebrates the graduation of its students. We also have the Feast of the Holy Cross in a new episode of Sabah Kum Noor program. Welcome back. At the conclusion of his apostolic visit to several countries in Asia and Oceania, His Holiness spoke during a press conference aboard the papal plane returning to Rome about the outcomes of the visit and his meetings with the leaders of these nations. He addressed the conflict in the Holy Land and Gaza, questioning whether there is a possibility for a ceasefire and achieving peace in the region. He stated, I communicate daily with a community where there are 600 Christians and Muslims living in Gaza as brothers in the church and school. However, they report to me concerning the severe and difficult realities of the excessive bloodshed there, and I do not see that steps are being taken towards peace. His Holiness called on everyone to collaborate and extend a hand in friendship, emphasizing that those win in war will ultimately face a significant defeat. In response to questions regarding the Jordanian stance on the situation in the West Bank and Gaza, the Holy Father said, I am very grateful for what His Majesty King Abdullah II is doing in terms of humanitarian efforts. He is a good and righteous king who is working hard to create peace placing the Palestinian cause and the welfare of the people in Gaza at the forefront of his concerns by delivering humanitarian aid to them daily through land and air transport. His Majesty King Abdullah II bin Al Hussein has directed the Jordanian government to provide any medical assistance needed by the Lebanese medical sector to treat thousands of Lebanese citizens injured in the mass explosions across various regions of the country. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs affirmed Jordan's support for Lebanon's security, sovereignty, and stability, expressing solidarity with the Lebanese people. It emphasized the necessity of halting the serious escalation in the region and condemned any actions threatening Lebanon's security, stability, and the safety of its citizens. In response, Lebanese caretaker Prime Minister Najib Miqati thanked His Majesty the King for his initiative, expressing appreciation for the Lebanese state's recognition of Jordan's steadfast position in supporting the Lebanese people and ensuring the security and stability of their country. The American University in Madaba celebrated the graduation of its 10th cohort under the patronage of Cardinal Pierre Battista Pizzabella, the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, with the presence of the graduates' families. The ceremony took place at the Cultural Palace in the sports city of Al Hussein in Amman. His Beatitude congratulated the graduates on this occasion, expressing pride in the students who worked hard to reach advanced levels of knowledge and education. He praised the progress achieved by the American University across various fields and areas. In his speech, the university president, Dr. Ma'moon Akrush, welcomed the patron of the event and commended the efforts of the students and faculty members. For his part, Father Dr. Juhat Shwahad, the patriarchal vicar for the Latins in Jordan, wished continued blessing upon the graduating students, highlighting the significant role the university plays in advancement and elevation of the nation. The graduation ceremony was attended by a selection of academic and community figures, including Vatican Ambassador to the Hashemite Court Giovanni Pietro Daltazo, as well as several ambassadors from Arab and friendly countries, priests and religious leaders. On another note, the Latin Patriarchate in Jerusalem announced that there are several pages and accounts on social media bearing the name of his Beatitude Cardinal Pierre Battista Pizzabella, or the names associated with the Patriarchate or its officials that do not represent the Patriarchate or any of its official figures. The Patriarchate urged all believers and followers to be aware that the only official and authorized source for news and statements related to the Latin Patriarchate and its officials is the official website of the Patriarchate and its social media pages that bear its name and logo. It also warned that any information or statement published through unofficial accounts are not recognized and do not reflect the views of the Patriarchate or its institutions. 
The president of the Royal Global Association, Yusuf Bakhash, met with the Patriarchal General Administration of the Diocese of Petra and Philadelphia and all of Jordan. Archman Dreit Paul Nuzha at the diocese headquarters in Amman. He extended his congratulations on his appointment by Patriarch Yusuf Absi as the administrator of the diocese and listened to the conditions of the community members in Jordan and ways to enhance their communication with their Melkite brothers in Lebanon and the diaspora. Bakhash expressed his appreciation for the work of the diocese and efforts being made to improve the conditions of its schools in the kingdom. The discussion also touched on the ongoing preparations for the second diaspora conference scheduled for next June and Jordan's participation in it. The meeting was attended by the diocese members Archman Dreid Bassam Shahatid, Father Paul Al Qain, and Father George Sharaiha. As part of its annual plan to visit Northern Brotherhoods, the General Assembly of the Marian Brothers in Jordan, represented by its spiritual advisor Father Ibrahim Nafa and several members, visited the Brotherhood of the Immaculate Conception in the town of Wahadne. There, they met with the Brotherhood of St. Paul in Ajlun and the Brotherhood of Our Lady of the Mountain in Anjara. The meeting included a spiritual discussion centered on the canticle of praise and the presentation of the Brotherhood's activities and annual plan, along with the exchange of ideas and suggestions. The gathering concluded with a divine liturgy followed by a meal of love. The Brotherhood expressed gratitude to the esteemed fathers, Father Johnny Bahbah, Father Yusuf Francis, and Father Salam Haddad, the priest of the Wahadne Parish, as well as the sisters, for their warm reception. They asked for the Virgin Mary's blessing on the Marian brothers in Jordan. The Jordanian Institution for Development of Lands Adjacent to the Baptism Site has signed an agreement with the Jordanian investor to develop approximately 64 dunams designated for investment in the area. According to the agreement, the investor will establish a camp and resort featuring a minimum of 30 tents, a restaurant and other recreational services in the region. The project will utilize sustainable solutions for energy and water use. Samir Murad, the chairman of the Board of Trustees of the institutions, confirmed that this agreement is the second signed this year as part of the Comprehensive Master Plan for the area, which encompasses 1,374 dunams near the site of the Baptism of Jesus Christ, recognized as a religious and historical heritage site listed on UNESCO's World Heritage List. The project adjacent to the baptism site aims to highlight its sanctity and richness by providing facilities that meet the social, emotional, spiritual and intellectual needs of both pilgrims and tourists. The Jordan National Gallery of Fine Arts in Amman hosted an exhibition and the launch of the book Christianity in Jordan, Heritage of History and Civilization. The exhibition featured over 100 photographs of Latin churches in Jordan from the period of 1860 to 1960, documenting the roots of Latin churches in the region. This is complemented by a collection of photographs gathered from the archives of Father Dr. Jean Michel, along with images dating back more than 150 years, sourced from the Latin Patriarchate's training archives in Jerusalem and other private collections. The exhibition was organized by the Tourism Promotion Authority in collaboration with the Historical Archive of the Patriarchate, the Royal Institute for Religious Studies and the Jordan National Gallery of Fine Arts. The exhibition and the book were coordinated and executed by the Photography House in Amman. On the occasion of the 60th anniversary of the establishment of the House of Abraham, an open house for all religions in the Holy City, His Excellency Bishop William Shomali, the Patriarchal Vicar for Latins in Jerusalem, recited a new prayer specifically for pilgrims. This took place before the Thanksgiving Mass, which was presided over by Archbishop Moulin of France, with the participation of Bishop Shomali accompanied by the hymns of the Hope Choir that enlivened the Mass. A large number of priests, monks, the Consul General of France in Jerusalem, the Director of the Catholic Relief Association, the heads of the Papal Mission, and the Caritas Jerusalem attended the celebration. In his sermon during the Mass held before the walls of the Old City, Bishop Moulin reflected on the mystery of redemption and the crucifixion, calling on everyone to follow Christ on the path of eternal life through love and sacrifice. During his celebration of the Divine Liturgy at the Church of the Annunciation in Baghdad, attended by a large number of faithful, Cardinal Louis Raphael Sacco posed a poignant question in his sermon. Isn't it time for wars in our Arab region to end, given the resulting death, destruction of homes, and displacement due to the chaos of morals and values? His beatitude added, Can a new system emerge that respects people more, offer greater peace and stability, and ensures a fair distribution of resources? He clarified that this system is found in the teachings of Christ, emphasizing the need to return to these teachings for salvation and to transform everything into love as much as we can. He pointed out that change will only happen when we love our neighbors as we love ourselves. 
The program Sabahkum Noor, produced and hosted by Dr. Basim Samhan with spiritual accompaniment from Father George Sharaiha, presented a distinguished episode titled The Feast of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross. The dialogue focused on several themes, including the veneration of the Holy Cross based on the crucified Christ, the Eastern customs and tradition practiced in our church during the celebration of the exaltation, and many other related topics. The program also featured a phone interview with Father Joseph Swede, the pastor of St. Charbel Maronai Church in Amman. Here, dear viewers, we have reached the end of our broadcast. Before we conclude, here's a recap of the highlights covered herein. Pope Francis praises King Abdullah's second efforts to promote peace in the region. His Majesty the King directs that all assistance needed by the Lebanese medical sector be provided. Under the patronage of Cardinal Pizzabella, the American University in Madaba celebrates the graduation of its students. We also have the Feast of the Holy Cross in a new episode of Sabah Kum Noor program. For more details, please visit our website, nursajo.org. Thank you for watching. Hope you had a great time and hope to see you again soon.